Hi everyone, it's Eric. Today is part two of listening to VE Direct. Today's video will be more on the programming of listening to the VE Direct um, ports. I'll be listening to the solar controller and my BMV 712 battery monitor. This program will just listen, gather the data, modify the data, and print it out to the terminal only. Once you gather the data, you can send it to a web page to see it on your your phone, a tablet, on your network, but we're not going to get into that part of it. We're just going to go over the retrieving of the data. To get our data sets, we're going to be using Victron's VE Direct protocol document. That document can be found on vdirect.com. Here's my program to read the VE Direct data. You also notice that I have two other files to the right of my program. One are the VE codes and the second ones are tables from the VE codes. This data I got from Victron's VE Direct Protocol document. I created these two files from that document. The data that you receive from the VE Direct ports are only codes and values. If you want to know what those codes and values mean, you will need to reference that document. Now that I created these two data files, I can take the codes that are read from the VE Direct ports and merge them with these two data files and get their exact meanings. And you'll see on my terminal printout of reading those ports, the last section is that merging of the files, is formatting the values, it's adding the descriptions to the code, it's also looking up if it's an error code or if it's a status, it's going to be looking for that value and putting that value in the description. We'll be going over merging of that data, formatting the values. This was written in Python uh, using VS Code and Thony. What you're looking at here is the data that's formatted. And you can see there's no alarms. And if you're looking at H11, the number of low voltage alarms is 2. And if you look at the voltage for V, it is 9.7 volts. So what I've done is triggered a low voltage alarm because I have it set at 10 volts. And the next printout is going to show AR to be 1. And you'll see in the description it says low voltage. You'll also know, note that H11 is now 3. By creating the code table file, I was able to take the code of AR, check it with the value of the alarm, which was 1, and then display the low voltage description. I will say I'm sorry, I'm not a YouTube coder, so this video is just a DIY explanation of my program. In this program, I have eight functions. I have one global variable trace print, and that's for the displaying in the terminal. I have a target and device and ports variable that defines what what my device is and what set of UART ports I'm going to be using. This program only reads the UART once. It is not a continuous loop, but it can certainly be adapted to doing that, to continually reading it every so often, every minute, every two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. Let's take a closer look at my program. First part of the program, I have a trace print. This is simply a a list that, can tr that contains values that allows the functions to print out data um, by the choice of what's in that list. It's a visual thing, works pretty nice. Um, next we're going to go down and we're going to see this target device ports list. It contains uh, values of my devices and a value, those that value 0 through 4 correspond to the Pico's UART ports. The Pico UART has 5 ports, and so I named them 0 through 4. Um, this, this next line, this next line right here, is going to be our first function. We're going to go ahead and load load our, our file information. We have two text files. We have a VE Direct codes table file and a VE Direct table.
And let's go ahead and load this. Look at that. So the first one loads the VE direct, the VE device codes. So read in, read in VE device codes file. We'll open up that one. It's a simple text file. It's going to read in the codes and the descriptions. It's going to place it into a dictionary, return to dictionary. And then close that up. The next one is the parse codes table. Go ahead and open that one up. This one's a little bit, a um, little bit different um, because it's going to read the codes. And the way I've set up the codes, I'll show you the codes file. Oops, right here, codes table file. Um, this is the AR uh, alarm. And it has a, a value, a zero through down here as eight, eight thousand one hundred ninety-two. So when we got the low low voltage alarm, it was one, and the description for that is low voltage. So this is how I uh, return the low voltage um, description: is AR was equal to one. Description is low voltage. You have it for. Um, CS, you have it for errors, you have it for MPPT. Um, these, these tables are in the Victron code protocol files that you can get at um, Victron.com uh, downloads. So I took that data and brought it into a dictionary. Again, return the dictionary. And we're going to be using that later to merge the files. We'll go ahead and close this up. And that's loading of, of the files. Then we come down here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the merge files. Um, I, what, I, what we're doing down here is we're looping through these three devices and we're going to read the UI. We're going to read from the VE Direct ports one at a time by this list. So we'll go ahead to the merge function. We'll open it up. First thing we're going to do on the merge function is we're going to go to the filter data. First part of the filter data is going to go ahead and load the, U, the reading of the um, port. So here I mapped the ports based on um, one through four or zero through four. Um, we passed a value from that um, list, device list. Um, and then we're going from that device list, it sets the pin numbers. It's going to set the pin numbers right over here. It's going to set the, uh, uh, the port also. Uh, it sets the It'll go down here and it'll read read the um, read the ports. It's going to exclude um, certain values uh, being saved to our list, and it's going to output a list. The list of data is is going to be. Um, That list of data is going to contain two, two pieces of information, a code and a value for each item. So from there, we, we're going down further. We're going to go ahead and start uh, filtering the data. And filtering, I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove these from the the data, if there is any data there. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to format the values. Go ahead and open up this function. What I did is for each code, I created a dictionary for the formatting of those codes. And as, as each code comes through here, it gets formatted slightly different. Um, 
Some will be appended with a, a V, some will uh, be appended with AH percentage. Then it's going to go ahead and return the data. We'll go ahead and close that one down. So when it returns the formatted data, then it's going to come back. It'll come back into the merge um, function. And this is where we're going to go ahead and we're going to merge the code tables information and the VE directs codes description into the URT data that we receive. So then we're going to then we're going to see the code, the error, and the descriptions. And that's done right in here. That's done in this section right here. You can see we're using the codes table and we're using the VE direct codes right here. So that's where that merging takes place. From there, that data is, is uh, brought down here to the print to this print function. We'll go ahead and open up this print function. What I'm doing here in the print function is I'm looking at the, the first column, which is the codes um, column, and then the value column. I'm taking the maximum length of those columns, and I'm calculating those so that I can make all three columns line up straight. And the way I did this, it prints out really nice and straight. It looks visually nice. And that's pretty much it. That is my program. I'm going to do a quick example of this trace print um, I got right here. We're going to go ahead and run it as a one. And you'll see over here in the terminal um, the results of that. In this case, we got a nicely formatted three column display of our data. We can go ahead and we can change this to three and four. Go ahead and clear the uh, terminal. And we'll see what other data is coming out. And from here, you can see that we're getting data from the uh, port. It's unformatted. Um, it's unformatted data. This right here is where it becomes formatted data. And then we have our list again, our display. So each one of these will give me something different coming out here. Um, I could get the um, raw data from the UR. I can get the raw data by just putting a 2 in there or adding a 2 in it. Go ahead and clear. I'll show you the raw data. And here's the raw data. This is what you get when you read the VE Direct port. Sorry for that. I say I'm not a YouTube coder. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you got any comments, leave them down below. Hit the subscribe to see the next video. It's free. My next video is going to show how I took this programming and incorporated it into my RV control program that controls fans, uh, auto start generator, and more.